There are times when you're working with canvases and paper, paint and paper and brushes and everything's fine on a, a single plane and then all of a sudden anybody, whether they're able-bodied or not, needs something more than that. And what we found more recently with our artists, because of the way that they want to, and, and to explore their own passions, we've been stretching ourselves and them to reach bigger canvases and all together make more of what they can do. And by having a, an easel, which is so versatile and incredibly useful because it can go in any shape, take any size canvas, can lift up high, fall down low at the drop of a hat, and is so incredibly user-friendly, it's entirely transformed our painting class. Everybody's become very excited about what they're doing because this, it's so much easier. And I remember it was one pivotal moment when we were painting um, Elaine's rainbow painting, which is just up on the wall there, which was actually uh, where Elaine was saying, are oh, your arms getting tired? And do you want to stop now? Because I've been holding her canvas for about 20 minutes in various different places. And, you know, she was becoming uh, discouraged because she was worrying about me. And by having a canvas which is being supported so beautifully by this wonderful easel, she's entirely free to, to paint for as long as she wants and in whatever way works for her. And so immediately then, the relationship we have in, within the class isn't so much supporter and supported, it's actually entirely about being independent and, and actually completely in your own zone, which is really something you would always want for anybody, really. Hi, I do two hard classes. What do you do in the art classes? Oh. Ah. Well, I do art classes. <laughs> <laughs>